Hey everyone, this is Daryl Christopher coming at you live from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And this video is going to amaze you. These are three boxes of comic books that I sealed up in the late 1990s. So they've been in the box, taped up for almost 20 years. And today is the day that I'm going to open them up. I want to store them properly. I want to put them in long boxes and get... Uh, boards and covers so you know like I have to do this and I have to know what exactly I even have I have no idea so let's check this out and uh, I hope you enjoy this as like uh, as much as I will it's gonna definitely be a time capsule we'll start off with this box here I think I'm going to need a sharper knife. There we go. A little bit off the top. Hopefully I'm not damaging anything here. But what is in the box? There we go. Looks like I did it all right. Got it to go. Oh, wow. So let's see what we have here. There's a classic what if. X-Men Deluxe. Grab a stack. Avengers. Classic X-Men. That's what got me into the X-Men more than anything else. Yeah, these are from 1996. So that was probably the year that I sealed it up. That's when I made the stupid decision of not collecting comic books anymore. And I didn't go back to it for almost a decade and it was a shitty decade so you know now I'm happy to be where I'm at and I love my comic books like more than ever especially in the twilight age but these books were my friends when I was younger more classic X-Men Excalibur comic book for a buck fifty comic books are five bucks now there's some great great cover by uh, Jean Byrne Aliens Berserker. Yeah. This Marvel Universe series was a great series. It taught me so many, so much stuff about so many different characters. Pretty neat. Silver Surfer 25 with great Ron Limart. Captain America. Oh. This is a good one. That I think is uh, the Machine Man limited series. And we have Arno Stark as the Iron Man of 2020. Quasar. Fantastic Four. Onslaught. Deep Space Nine. Another classic what if. Old school X-Men from the 90s. Alpha Flight. Gotta love your Canadian superheroes being Canadian and all. Book of the Dead. So many of these characters are back now. Most of these guys are back to being alive on here.
How's the slate? Star Trek, back when it was DC, now Star Trek is with IDW. Oh, lots of amazing stuff here. Deep Space Nine. Oh, a classic Iron Man. we have another what if mighty max x-men number three two seven ah inferno that was a classic storyline West Coast Avengers. West Coast Avengers. Another classic what if. Captain America. A little DC action. Alpha Flight, Alpha Flight. This is amazing. Captain America, Venom. Oh, that's an awesome X Men Unlimited. Cable 32, The Great Lakes Avengers. I remember those guys. Avengers West Coast, Master Pandemonium, Simpsons. You can tell these Marvel Universe are well worn from lots of reading. Another Marvel Universe. Marvel Age, which is kind of like the comic book shop news that Marvel used to have. Marvel Universe. Marvel Universe. Something that's missing a cover. More Marvel Universe. Iron Man. Predator. Oh, here's something I got from a museum, I think. Arctic Comics, Canadian. Very small print run. Oh, Daredevil with Typhoid Mary. Sabretooth. Another what if? Holy moly. Star Trek. Captain America. Just gonna move these over here. Captain America. New Mutants number 59. New Mutants Annual, Captain America, Incredible Hulk, X-Men Classic, West Coast Avengers, Star Trek, X-Men, X-Men 250. More Uncanny X-Men. Mm. 
Some of these are bagged. X-Men. X-Men 275. More X-Men. 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 Oh, there's a classic issue. Uncanny X-Men 213. Very classic. I have an extra copy of that as well. Silver Surfer. Gold Cover Avengers issue. 30th Anniversary. Iron Man 300. Avengers West Coast number 100. go everything's out of the box now that's from the age of apocalypse amazing x-men weapon x factor x i really love this storyline it was amazing one at, at the time generation next Excalibur, X Universe, Gambit in the Externals, Astonishing X Men, Factor X, Bishop. X-Men Onslaught. X-Men Omega. Weapon X. X-Force number one. Oh, here we go. This is the uh, Avengers uh, King Size Annual number 10. This is the uh, first appearance of Rogue. So, very cool issue to find. X-Men number 200. Classic issue. Oh, here we go. This is the Death of Phoenix. X-Men number 137. I remember I, this was the first time I bought a comic book that cost more than the cover price. I specifically sought out this issue. I think it was like I bought it for like 10 bucks. And uh, that was a lot when I was a kid, that's for sure, but uh, well worth it for a piece of history. X Factor number one. X Factor. Excalibur. Excalibur. That's a beautiful cover. I love the Phoenix. Both uh, Jean Grey and Rachel Grey. I believe that's the first issue of Excalibur. Wolverine. Wolverine number 100. And it's got a holo cover on it. Wolverine 90, Wolverine 75, Captain America, X-Men, okay I'm pretty sure this is the first appearance of Bishop, X-Men 282, maybe I'm wrong but I my memory is a little bit hazy. X-Men. I remember this. Hmm. Hmm. 
X-Men, just plain X-Men number one. It's cover with Magneto. Here's the more traditional cover. Wedding of Scott Summers and Jean Grey. Oh, this is the one I think this is where Wolverine got his adamantium pulled out of his body by Magneto. That's a very classic issue right there. Mm. X-Men Alpha. So this is quite the treasure trove so far. And we haven't even, and that's only one box. Let's see what we got for box number two. There we go. <laughs> this isn't even comics. This is uh, a collection of old TV guides. How about that? Well, I guess I was wrong in that count. That's pretty funny. I can't believe I saved those. Let's get that out of the way. All right. This box has comics. I guarantee you it does. this out of the way let's see what we have in here oh I remember this this was such an awesome annual so cool got a smaller cover here Generation X, Star Trek, Hulk 403, Silver Surfer and Adam Warlock. Classic X-Men, Suicide Squad. My cousin had an idea for this comic book and that's why I picked this one up because he had a special shout out at the beginning of the book. So that was kind of cool. And uh, yeah, it's part of the family. So I, of course I couldn't say no to that. Another what if, Captain America. This one's a little damaged. Oh, here's an ancient one. This one was a good one. Super villain team up. You have Red Skull taking on Doctor Doom. Iron Man. Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, Marvel Age. I think some of these have parts cut out of them because I put them on a skateboard and I put some lacquer on top of it to make like a cool skateboard. So that's why some of them are missing little sections here and there. Would I do that to comic books now? Never. They're my babies. X-Men Chronicles. X-Men. Mm. 
Wow. Hulk, Hulk, Deep Space Nine, Fantastic Four, Classic X-Men. I have no idea what that was or how it got there. X-Factor, Avengers, Classic X-Men. This is like an anti-drug Spider-Man since Spider-Man is great experience dealing with uh, drug issues in his comic books. Avengers. Here's our classic Avengers. New Mutants. Another classic What If. Marvel Universe. Marvel Age, profiling the new universe back then. I think the only guy left out of these guys is the star brand. I haven't seen too many others from uh, that time period. Marvel Age, I really liked getting Marvel Age a lot back in the day because uh, it helped you. I think it was even before the comic book shop news, but it helped you pick out what you wanted to buy. Wolverine. Oh, Wolverine 85, Phalanx Covenant, West Coast Avengers, Secret Origins, Deadpool, that guy's pretty popular now, he's the, uh, the tough talking merc I guess, Simpsons, Yeah, it looks like everything stopped in 1996, and I didn't start buying comics again until 2005, 2006. I started off with uh, the X-Men, and I went from there. I just started, and now I get like uh, dozens of comics every week, so it's great. Best thing that ever happened to me was to get back into comic books. Let's see what we have here. More Wolverine, X-Man, lots of Age of the Apocalypse, Alien vs. Predator, oh the original series What If, I don't know if those guys are still around, oh this is a classic find here, Superman Aliens, that was a good issue, I really liked that a lot. Dark Hawk, Bartman. Oh, here's a Todd McFarlane art Incredible Hulk. Very cool. Oh, here we go. This is a classic. This is a classic. This is the McFarlane art with Gray Hulk and Wolverine taking each other on. Fantastic. More McFarlane art. This at the time was my oldest issue that I ever owned. I got it at a bookstore there having a sale for hundreds of comics and I came up with it. Unfortunately, it's got writing on the cover. This is one from the uh, Kree Scroll War. Very cool. Original What If? Oh, I remember that. That was an awesome issue. Micronauts. These guys were so 70s, but they were so awesome. Punisher. Oh, Thor 337. That's the uh, first appearance of uh, Beta Ray Bill, I believe. More Star Trek. Star Trek The Next Generation from 1995. Oh, here we go. This is uh, William Shatner's novel, The Ashes of Eden, made into a comic book. 
That was an awesome read and a beautiful art too. Amazing book. Deep Space Nine. World of Doom special. Light and Darkness War. Oh! Namor. Alien vs. Predator. New Warriors number one. Avengers. Oh, classic what if. More aliens. Let's see what else we got in here. Well, for all the moves, they've held up pretty well. Web of Spider-Man. Web of Spider-Man. Spectacular Spider-Man. Oh, this is Amazing Spider-Man when he had the power cosmic from the when he was Captain Universe. Taking on Magneto by the looks of things. Oh, this is an awesome issue. That's the return of Jean Grey. Amazing. Fantastic Four 300. Marvel's 25th anniversary Fantastic Four. Age of Apocalypse. Oh, here we go. This is the classic amalgam where DC and Marvel Comics like combined and made a mix of each of their respective popular characters. Oh, here's a good book here. Kingdom Come. Another amalgam issue. DC versus Marvel. Oh, here's the one that everyone still talks about. This is the combined Wolverine Batman character, Dark Claw. X Patrol. GLX. League of Justice. Inner Demons. Speed Demon. Oh, here's where Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson got married. Cool. 1987. Amazing Spider-Man. We have some Todd McFarlane art, Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, this book's worth quite a bit. This is Amazing Spider-Man 300, where uh, it's the first real appearance of Venom, and uh, the last for Spider-Man to be in his black costume, so very cool. Let's see what we have here. Make a little space. Gambit. X Factor. Uncanny X Men. X Men. Here's a very old Avengers, Avengers 150. More Todd McFarlane art, Incredible Hulk. Alien. The Rose from Amazing Spider-Man. X-Men 175. Doctor Strange Fade Amalgam. Excalibur from Age of Apocalypse. Wolverine 101. Cable. Wolverine. New Mutants. Avengers, Alpha Flight, 
Wow, and Uncanny X-Men where Forge and Storm were still going out. Amazing. Adventures of Superman, Excalibur, West Coast Avengers, X-Men, classic X-Men, beautiful cover. Oh, here's the first appearance of the, not a very uh, well-kept issue, but this is the first appearance of Spider-Man's black costume, also known as the symbiote, also known as the one who had become Venom. X-Factor. I don't know what that is. Mighty Thor. Thor 400. Silver Surfer. Captain America. Spider-Man. Another classic what if. Speed Racer. West Coast Avengers, Excalibur, X-Men, Astonishing X-Men, Age of Apocalypse, Gambit and the Externals, Days of Future Past, X-Men, Weapon X, Amazing X-Men, Oh, here's a good one. Omega Red. Some great covers there on the X-Men. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Quasar. Star Trek. Detective Comics, Avengers, let's move this over here. Another What If classic issue. What If probably was my favorite series when uh, I was younger. And now that we know so much about parallel universes and realities, it's not so far-fetched. Far Simpsons, Machine Man 2020, Superman. This is when Superman came back from the dead. Marvel Age. Marvel Universe, Marvel Universe, Marvel Age. Oh, too bad this thing is missing a little bit on the cover. Kitty Pride and Wolverine, that was a classic series back in the day. X Factor, Marvel Universe. That's Magneto in his good guy uniform. A very beat up Marvel Superhero Secret Wars. Vision and the Scarlet Witch. Iron Man. Marvel Universe. Captain America. Marvel Universe. Marvel Age, I certainly got a lot of those issues. Marvel Universe. Batman en Francais. Hmm, bien sûr. Marvel Universe. Marvel Age. Oh, The Thing when he had his own series. That was really good. I like that one a lot. Star Trek 1995 special. Wow. 
Another one. Infinity Gauntlet. Wow. Amazing Spider-Man. Micronauts. Deep Space Nine. Marvel Universe. Alpha Flight. Wolverine 98. Marvel Comics Presents. Let's see what else we have in here. Get all these out. Let's see what we have here in the final stretch. Marvel Age. Marvel Age. Ah, Thor en Francais. Well, that's good. That always helps with learning French. If you like comic books or you like movies, that's a good way to learn a language. Go with what you love and make it work for you. I think I got that at Universal Studios. Age of Apocalypse, X-Men. X-Man, Astonishing X-Men, Gambit, X-Men, oh, here's a classic, that was probably one of the best what ifs ever, that was an awesome issue, Inferno New Mutants, Excalibur, Excalibur, Classic X-Men. Grew. June 2099. Shadow Man. Boy, that's an old issue. Web of Spider-Man. Captain America. Oh, The Ant-Man. I remember that series a lot when I was a child. It was a very awesome... Series, a very different take, uh, very creative. I really liked it a lot. And it looks like I have quite a few issues of it. X-Men, Captain America, Elf Flight, Classic X-Men, Classic X-Men, I had a lot of Classic X-Men, Excalibur, Excalibur, Daredevil, Daredevil again. Star Trek. Another classic what if. I can move this off the table now. I'm not going to need it anymore. Let's see what we have here. X-Men. X-Force. X-Men. X-Men, Simpsons, Batman versus Predator. This happened. Wow. Quasar, Firestorm. Oh, Captain America 300. This was an awesome issue. They really had a good fight in this one. Silver Sable. Wolverine. A more a Marvel Comics UK. Wow, 
That's interesting. More Anthman, West Coast Avengers, Blue Devil, Teen Titans, Quasar, more Star Trek, Superman, Alpha Flight, Amazing Spider Man. She-Hulk. Captain America. Human Torch. Punisher. Oh, another classic What If. Silver Surfer. Classic X-Men, Captain America 401. Oh, this one was one of the most awesome what ifs. I swear, what if always delivered with awesome stories. That's a very awesome issue there. Another what if. X-Men Annual. There's an old X-Men. Oh, here's a classic Amazing Spider-Man. Warlock. Oh, this is a classic uh, Reverend Lovejoy's Hellfire comics from The Simpsons. Very cool. Last issue of The Thing. Captain America. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man. What If. Nth-Man. Classic X-Men. Classic X-Men. Classic X-Men. These were all awesome issues. John Byrne, Art, and Amazing Stories. What If. Another classic What If. West Coast Avengers, Aliens vs. Predator, Deadpool number four from the original series, the original limited series, Wonder Man number one, I miss Wonder Man, he was pretty cool, X-Men, Wildcats, Nightcrawler, Transformers Headmasters. Wow. Saga of the Swamp Thing. Nick Fury Relaunch Series number one. It's a little bit rough on the side there, as you can see, but it's mostly okay. Alien vs. Predator. Iron Man. Iron Man 250. Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Amazing Spider-Man. That's a classic cover there. Amazing issue. I think that's where he got rid of the symbiote, but I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly. Captain America. Uncanny X-Men. Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine. Simpsons. It's another uh, Simpsons inspired story. Itchy and Scratchy. Bartman. Micronauts and, Mitra, Micronauts and New Voyages. X Men. Uncanny X Men. Hulk. Classic X-Men, X-Men, that's an annual, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider 
Alpha Flight, and Alpha Flight. So this is all the comics that I had from that were probably sealed in 1996, and. This is now I know what I have and I found some pretty cool stuff. Thank you so much to all of you for watching this video. Uh, number one, I always make videos for people who want to learn about comics or just enjoy comics. But I also make videos for the people at work that are doing work and there's nothing to do and all they, they're bored and they have an internet connection. I speak to you. I say if you're bored at work and willing to watch anything, then watch my videos and learn about comics. You got... Nothing to lose and everything to gain. Anyways, take care everyone and uh, let's hope spring comes sooner than later. I'm sick of this. I think Canada should bring back the death penalty for so that we can execute winter. I've had enough. I want global warming to continue until Canada becomes tropical. Like it's beautiful, but I like the heat. Anyways, take care everyone and stay tuned on the Reverie Soul channel for the next video. You never know what's going to pop up. Take care. Bye.